Hey guys, welcome to another episode here. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, whether you spent it with your friends or your family. I hope you enjoyed the time that you had with whomever and you enjoyed some really good food, but also had some fun times relaxing. So today I want to talk a little bit about immune system, how to boost your immunity naturally on a day-to-day -day basis, and also what to do when you do get sick and make sure that you don't have to just run to the doctor for antibiotics. There are things that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that your immune system is in check. There's a lot of very sick people right now. People are getting sick left and right. And some people are getting very sick. I had some clients that were sick for over two weeks and they were having a really hard time kicking whatever it was. And I want to give you some strategies. My kiddo got a cough last week. You may even hear it in my sinuses that you can hear that I'm a little bit congested, but I'm not, I don't feel sick. I just feel a little bit tired and I can tell that my sinuses are a little stuffy, but I've been doing a lot of things to help kick all of that and to help prevent it. Like the minute that I realized that he had a cough, those strategies went into place. But I want to talk a little bit about the immune system and why it is so important on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that you keep your immune system healthy. Now, there are several things that I want to point out that can really compromise your immune system and make it really difficult for you to fight whatever virus is coming in. So our immune system is there. We have five different white blood cells that comprise of our immune system. And those five individual white blood cells, their job is to protect us, to keep us from getting sick. And so when we have a virus that we get in touch with, those white blood cells, the neutrophils specifically, are the very first ones that go to bat and they start fighting off that virus. And each individual white blood cell has its own job and phase of what it needs to be doing. Now, if you get in touch with something and your immune system is already not up to par and you're not doing things to keep it healthy and strong, or maybe you're not getting enough sleep, here are some things that can decrease your immune system function. Not getting enough sleep, so your immune system is compromised. If you have a lot of stress going on, that will weaken your immune system. Your diet obviously will hugely affect your immune system. We'll talk about the gut a little bit. And then if you are not hydrated, like if you're dehydrated, your body can't flush out whatever's coming in. And those are the, the foundational things that can cause your immune system to not be able to fight off whatever virus is coming in and it starts attacking. So the reason that a lot of people during the holidays start getting sick and sometimes get really sick is for several reasons. Not enough sleep, a lot of stress, overconsumption of sugar, overconsumption of alcohol, and contact of other people. You're usually traveling or you're around a lot more other people. So all of those things are the reasons that you may get sick. And it's not actually flu season. It's just that there's all these other things going on that are compromising your immune system, or they may, and therefore you get sick. So you have to look at the difference in your lifestyle. Like what changed during that time? There's usually a whole lot of stuff going on and that's what can cause all of that. And then is this like ripple effect of issues that can go on. The other person specifically that is more compromised to get sick is someone with autoimmune. If you have an autoimmune condition, the chances of you getting sick quicker are higher. It just really, really depends on what type of autoimmune it is and what's going on there. But you are at a higher risk for getting sick if you have an autoimmune condition. All right, friends, let's talk about something that's a little uncomfortable, but super important. Parasites. Yup, those unwanted guests in our bodies that can mess with our energy, digestion, and throw off our internal system. Now, most of us don't think about doing a parasite cleanse, but the truth is, these pesky little things are more common than we'd like to think, and they can lead to all kinds of symptoms that many people just live with, thinking they're normal. 
Now, it's not a matter of not having parasites at all. Rather, it's about how many do you have and what havoc are they creating internally. That's why I'm excited to share the Roger Hood Super Parasite Kit with you. It's a comprehensive, all natural kit that helps rid your body of parasites gently and effectively. I like to say this is white pant approved. It's easy to use and it's a great way to reset and support your health from the inside out. Because let's be real, detoxing isn't just a trend. It's a way to help our bodies function better. The reason I love the Super Parify Kit for myself and my clients so much is it doesn't just touch on parasites. This kit includes a heavy metal flush, a candida detox, a binder which is very much needed, and a red artist tincture designed to support your gut and your organs as you are detoxing. So if you've been feeling sluggish, bloated, or just not quite like yourself, it might be time to give parasite detoxing a try. Grab the Roger Hood Super Parify Kit and start taking charge of your health and see what a difference it makes when you clear out what shouldn't be there in the first place. Go to www.rogershood.com forward slash R-E-F forward slash eight. This link will automatically apply a 10% off discount code for you. If that doesn't work, you can also apply Lizzy 10. Again, that is www.rogershood.com forward slash R-E-F forward slash eight. You can also find this link in the show notes. The connection between gut health and immunity. So I cannot stress this enough. Like your gut health is so incredibly important for your immune system. Up to 90% of sicknesses and illnesses and diseases start within the gut. And so if we can get our gut healthy, then we are also boosting our immune system. And I want to talk about food, some whole foods that you can bring in that supports your immune system. Some anti-inflammatory things that can help with the inflammation are things like garlic and onion and ginger and turmeric. Like those are anti-inflammatory foods. Some vitamin C types of foods are going to be your citrus fruits and your bell peppers. And there's more, but those are just a few. Fermented foods will help with you get your probiotics. And I can't stress this enough, like your probiotics, it's so incredibly important that you have daily probiotic intake. Now, some fermented food options would be sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, but you don't want to use the yogurt that is flavored with, with any kind of flavorings or sugar added in. I always get the plain yogurt, plain, nothing else, because everything else is high in sugar. So I get the plain yogurt, and then I add in my own stuff, like some protein powder to get more protein, some chia seeds, and sometimes I'll put a little bit of peanut butter in there. So you can add your own flavors and you can add your own fruit. Here is something that I am a huge fan of. This is actually one of my practices when I feel like I am getting sick is bone broth. Bone broth can be very gut healing. Now, depending on what's in the bone broth, some people with leaky gut, if there's mushrooms in there and stuff like that, or garlic, it may not go over well. So it depends on what's going on with your gut. But in general, you should at least try bone broth. Here's what I do with bone broth. I literally drink it like a tea. And I have clients that do this and it has like changed their life. It's crazy what has happened. So what I do is I just heat up the bone broth on the stove. Do not microwave it. It will kill the vitamins and minerals that are in it. But bone broth is full of vitamins and minerals. It has protein. It helps you hydrate because it has natural electrolytes in it. And it is so incredibly amazing. So I just heat it up and I put it in a mug and I drink it like a tea. You can put some lemon in there if you want. You can even put a little bit of coconut milk or some fat in there if you want to. It's up to you. I just drink it straight up. Leafy greens and mushrooms are immune modulators, and those can help you with your immune system and your gut. Let's talk a little bit about the importance of quality sleep and stress reduction. So one of the things that we have to do, and this has to do with your fight or flight hormone, your cortisol, is we have to learn how to bring in practices to regulate our cortisol and our nervous system and reduce our stress. Now, we're never going to live a stress-free life, but this is something that we have to be aware of. You have to know 
how stressful is your life, and what do you need to do in order to manage your stress better? Because stress will wreak havoc on your health. Absolutely. You have to learn how to manage your stress. Okay, let's talk about how to do that. There are so many tools of things that you can do. Let's talk about breath work. How, if you've never done any kind of breath work, I really, really encourage you to learn how to do proper breath work. There's a really cool video on YouTube by Wim Hof, who is the number one expert in breath work. He's absolutely amazing. And you can look up Wim Hof beginner breath work. And what this will teach you is how to properly breathe in and out and help your body restore its natural circadian rhythm. And when you do this, this can help start with that cortisol cycle, help your body. So because what you're doing is you're trying to get, or you're working on getting, you're not trying, you're working on getting your body to bring cortisol levels down naturally. So when we get stressed and there's like heightened emotions and all that, our cortisol spikes up. But if we don't learn how to properly bring that down and naturally bring it down, we stay up way too long. And this is where we start getting into trouble with our hormones and our adrenals and all of that stuff. And so what you want to do is when you do breath work and you learn how to do that, your body can start getting taught how to naturally like bring yourself down from that fight or flight. And meditation, meditation is really good. I'm also a really big, big fan of somatic breath work. It's very releasing and it's very relaxing. Here's the other thing that I like to do. And I just recently started doing this. So I'm a huge fan of ice bath, but I do not have an ice bath place close to me right now. And so I was like, all right, what do I do? Okay. So I hate cold showers, cannot stand it. Don't want anything to do with them. But here's what I decided to do because someone told me just do this. They said, okay, you want to do ice bath, but you don't have access to that right now. What I started to do just over the last couple of weeks is every time that I take a shower, at the end of the shower, before I step out, I turn the water as cold as I can, all the way to cold. And then I just stand there. And trust me, it is no fun. No fun at all. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, like, because your body goes through these different stages of like, ah. <laughs> and then if you just stand there and you breathe, and all of a sudden, there's a shift in your body and you can feel your body calming down. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel amazing. So it's almost like this adrenaline. That is another amazing way to help boost your immune system, but also to help with your cortisol and your stress fight or flight. It's absolutely phenomenal. So I highly, highly recommend that as well. All right, friends, let's talk about something that's a little uncomfortable, but super important. Parasites. Yup, those unwanted guests in our bodies that can mess with our energy, digestion, and throw off our internal system. Now, most of us don't think about doing a parasite cleanse, but the truth is, these pesky little things are more common than we'd like to think, and they can lead to all kinds of symptoms that many people just live with, thinking they're normal. Now, it's not a matter of not having parasites at all. Rather, it's about how many do you have and what habit are they creating internally? That's why I'm excited to share the Roger Hood Super Parify Kit with you. It's a comprehensive, all natural kit that helps rid your body of parasites gently and effectively. I like to say this is white pant approved. It's easy to use and it's a great way to reset and support your health from the inside out. Because let's be real, detoxing isn't just a trend. It's a way to help our bodies function better. The reason I love the Super Parify Kit for myself and my clients so much is it doesn't just touch on parasites. This kit includes a heavy metal flush, a candida detox, a binder which is very much needed, and a red artist tincture designed to support your gut and your organs as you are detoxing. So if you've been feeling sluggish, bloated, or just not quite like yourself, it might be time to give parasite detoxing a try. Grab the Roger Hood Super Parify Kit and start taking charge of your health. 
and see what a difference it makes when you clear out what shouldn't be there in the first place. Go to www.rogershood.com forward slash ref forward slash eight. This link will automatically apply a 10% off discount code for you. If that doesn't work, you can also apply Lizzie 10. Again, that is www.rogershood.com forward slash ref forward slash eight. You can also find this link in the show notes. Let's talk about some natural thing, other natural things that you can do to help with your immune system. Herbal teas like echinacea, elderberry, ginger, those are really great. The other thing that I do to really help uh, hydrate is electrolytes. I really like relight electrolytes and I just, you know, do one dose of those a day. And then secondly is you can just put a dash of salt in your water every single day. Like you can do like once or twice a day, but a dash, and that will help you hydrate better on a cellular level. Most people are dehydrated and you need to be able to hydrate. Like I drink over a gallon of water a day, but for some reason, if I don't drink electrolytes or put some salt in my water, my body still feels like it's dehydrated and it shows up on my blood work. I'm like, what in the world? Like, what is going on? So that's a way, like, I can tell a big difference when I do that. So these are four things that I did last week when my kiddo got a cough. So what I did is I right away went and I cut up an onion and I sleep with an onion in our bedroom. And I also have an onion cut up on my counter throughout the day. Now, it doesn't always smell great, but onions are great. You can also put onions on your chest. You can put onions on your feet. The other thing that you can do is if you do get sick, you can do cold sock therapy. The way that you do this is you take ice water, you put socks in this ice water, and then let them get really cold. And then this is before you go to bed at night. And then you wring them out and you put those cold socks on your feet and you put wool socks over that and then you go to bed. And this creates some kind of thermogenic response for your immune system. I do that for my kiddo and sometimes I do it for myself as well. So it's for kids and adults as well. A humidifier. So if you can run in a humidifier, I've been running a humidifier. And what I started to do is put some tea tree oil and some peppermint oil in there as well. And that can really help with the dryness. So like where I'm at, winters are usually a little bit more dry. And where I'm at, it's so dry, like we're in the desert. And running that humidifier just brings a little bit more moisture in the air and keeps things a little bit more hydrated as well. And then let's talk a little bit about supplementation. So I will dose with vitamin C every hour or two and do about a thousand milligrams every hour or two for the entire day or until I feel like I am really getting over it and then I'll maintain it. But not just any vitamin C. Hear me when I say this, not just any vitamin C. I've used all different kinds of vitamin Cs before. And this one that I use, which is by MitoLife, I will have to link in the show notes. I do have a 15% off discount code for you. And I'm not just telling you this because I have a discount code. I've been using this vitamin C for two to three years now, and I have never had a vitamin C work as well as this one. I have clients that have used it and non-clients that have used it and they swear by it as well. It is a high quality vitamin C and it has polyphenols in it and it works amazing. Listen, if you if your body gets too much vitamin C, it just pees it out. You just flush it out. You either pee or poop it out and then it, it, it's gone. It doesn't do anything else. Dosing with vitamin D is zinc. And then making sure you're getting a really good probiotic in is really, really helpful. All right. So I want to kind of recap this for you guys. Remember what your immune system's job is. And remember what is it that decreases your immune system's function. All the, the things like stress, dehydration, you know, being exposed to a bunch of people, travel, all of that stuff, getting exposed to germs. Those are all the things that can decrease your immune system's function and therefore why you get sick and then also the overconsumption of food and 
the overconsumption of sugar, alcohol, seed oils, all of those things, they will disrupt your gut, they will disrupt your immune system, and therefore this is why you can get sick. So go through the list and think about those things and then go through the list and uh, take notes on what are things that you can do on a day-to-day basis, which is emphasize your sleep, making sure you're getting enough sleep, emphasize stress management, manage your stress as much as you possibly can. Like I said, you're not going to have a stress-free life, but you can learn how to manage your stress. When you learn how to manage your stress, now you're better managing your fight or flight system. Okay. And then take good food in. Remember, holiday, not hollow week or hollow month. You don't have to be eating sugar every single day. You don't have to be drinking alcohol every single day. You don't have to be over consuming food every single day. You can make sure that you're getting good whole foods and all of those things in on a day to day basis. And then when it's a holiday, indulge a little bit if you want to. And then the next, the day after that, Go back to the healthy things, the things that you know are going to make you feel good and give you the results that you want and keep your immune system strong and healthy. Don't forget to take your vitamins, take your probiotics, take your magnesium, take your vitamin C, keep your immune system strong and healthy and go through the list of the things that I listed that you can start applying or when you do get sick, put those things into practice even more so. That is it for today, and I will see you guys next week.